This is one of my absolute favorite tools, and I know a lot of people do use this. I'd love to see a poll in the audience, so type in that question box if you have used Lino. Um, Lino is amazing. I love it. It is a mobile app, but there is also a web version as well, so you can access your same Lino on both. And it's great for staying organized. There are it's basically sticky notes. It's an online sticky note cork board, and you can stay organized yourself as a teacher, but I love to use it for student projects. And my favorite example is, I'm so visual, but I always picture the um, the science fair poster boards where you come home and the parents, you know, have to go and buy paper and fun scissors that have it doesn't cut a straight line it cuts a zigzag and borders and you know heaven forbid my poor parents because I put glitter on everything so when we had to do a poster board my mom was just through the roof no more glitter no more expensive anything students can create digital poster boards and this picture kind of shows a great example all of these post-it notes um, they can write information on they can do pictures and video so if they find a cool video on the web that goes with the project it can go right on in there and also it's collaborative meaning that students can work in groups to put a board together so a very specific example if you're studying Romeo and Juliet and they are in a group and they are doing a project on aspects of the time maybe they're studying culture during that period all the students can put in some people can put pictures of what people wore someone could put a video of you know um, something that happened during that time period and you can also list your sources with the sticky notes for more ideas in your classroom visit simplek12.com